It's 1B coming up against Showmaker's yep. Silas. Showmaker has been the star for down one throughout this series, and you're giving him this playmaking potential, the ability to 1v9, and we've seen him do it on this champion before. So I am a lot more confident in down one with this draft that they've got themselves. So much playmaking power, so much agency across the from facing off against RNG. Darmwon now with a composition that I feel both of you are a little bit happier with than perhaps some of their previous drafts. Well, I think more than anything for me, it is the difference in Showmaker because last game he had the Jace and it looked very, very good, but it is so hard to solo carry both in the lane and also in the team fights later with Jace. And he tried his best. He had some insane 5v5 performances. Now on the Silas, he is almost the focal point for Darmwon in the five versus fives when he finds a good you know, Solar Flare or that Gnar Ultimate. Those are the two you have to keep your eyes on. It is such a good draft to slot the Silas into. It certainly is. Now, I was a little skeptical about this Victor, but I do recall Humanoid's Victor in the playoff finals uh, domestically, and he had a very strong performance uh, on it. He was a large part as to why Mad were even able to win a lot of those late game team fights. Uh, and I think that in the same way that Showmaker was someone we were looking at earlier on when the matchup was reversed, uh, to be that big damage dealer. We're now looking at humanoids. Can Darmwon have access onto the back line? Can they threaten this humanoid who is going to be such a huge damage dealer the later the game goes? He will have to go against the statistics to win this game. Only a 29% win rate on the victor throughout the course of MSI, but humanoid has constantly battled against expectations. I think you could say when he first joined the league, he was in sort of a triumvirate of Larson, Abadage and Humanoid. And it took him a while to really wake up, to really find his form. Last year, of course, at Worlds Plains, he really struggled to have an impact. But this year, he has been a key carry for Mad Lions in so many different ways. I mean, it's interesting because Damwon had a pretty similar story when they joined the league, right? They joined alongside Griffin. And these are yep. the two hyped up rookie rosters that joined the LCK. And how well would they be able to compete? And with the addition of Ghost, this team went from like a fourth, fifth place team into world champions. That single roster change sort of propelled them to the top of the League of Legends world. And after the loss of Nogari, we've often questioned how well they would be able to compete. And it's actually almost a mirrored image for Mad Lions. After they removed Orome, after they took out Shadow and added Armut and Alioya, they went from a third, fourth place roster to the best team in the LEC. And they are the new generation of European team. G2 and Fnatic are sitting on the wayside as they watch Mad Lions fight for a spot in MSI Finals. We all know the next generation is far superior to the original. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Star Wars, right? Not exactly. Uh, <laughs> you're wearing red today. That's not looking good for you. Now back into the game. Well, Dom Juan, Barrel, and Ghost have certainly been wearing red in the most of these games so far today. Again, the 2v2 has always gone the way of Karzi and Kaiser. This time, it's a little bit more calm to start things off, but Ghost is using the cleanse here. Worried about the all-in power of the Leon and the CC lockdown it can provide. No heal, though. It does make Barrel considerably more vulnerable, and finally, we see an early game where Humanoid is able to bully out Showmaker early. Very much what you expect, but you can see that even still, Showmaker's keeping the CS even. He's going to get stunned up. Can Humanoid, does he have the mana? <gasps> Oh, oh, Showmaker oh, dodging oh, away from the death ray. Manages to survive. We'll have to use the TP to get back in as Khan trades onto Armour here in the top lane. Armour trying to build up that Mega Nar. And we can see Ashley Kang in the Verizon 5G all chat saying it starts with success. No, 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 Take that down. Success is all about down one. It's a down one monologue, guys, as Canyon looks for the fight in the top lane. Armor's going to flash oh, away. He's, mega's he's mega. just in time to survive. And it starts with Armut going mega. You can't make that work unless you're shocks. I'm sorry, <laughs> Ashley. It doesn't work like that. Armut is able to get away from the dive with a very timely transformation into oh. Mega Nar, but Khan continues to trade forward, and this is the dynamic of the Lee Sin versus Nar matchup. Sure, Nar can poke you out of lane, he can hit you from range, but Lee Sin with his W sustain wants to fight, 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 constantly challenge Nar and try to force him long term out of the lane. Yeah, the all in from uh, the Lee Sin is definitely very potent, and you can see he's starting to build up that advantage. All in a bit in the bot lane as trading starts to happen. Ghost attacks Kazi as Kazi attacks Beryl. So far, pretty even in the bot side of the match, and props to Showmaker. 
He has kept the CS even, even though he probably should have died. Now Alyoya, though, looking to punish the flash of the Showmaker. He's got the flash. He's got the bear. He's got the slap. He's got the TP joining. His Showmaker tries to dive in. Gravity field coming out. The stun's going to land on Showmaker. Humanoid doesn't have too much mana, but Alyoya will take first blood. And now Khan is stunned up as well. Does have the flash. Can look for the Tempest Cripple, but it won't go all in. Mad Lion strike first in game four. Khan even using his teleport to come into the mid lane too, loses that and doesn't get anything for it. I guess he can push out that mid wave and then go top lane and pick that one up, but it's good oh. from Humanoid. Got the flash off of Showmaker very early in the lane phase and it pays off there. It certainly did. As we see another all-in bot. That's a big minion wave, Kaiser. Kaiser's gonna get locked up here with the mount up. Ghost getting oh. forced away though, has to jump away. And now Beryl stunned up with a shield of Daybreak. Such a short oh, cooldown. Oh. Flashes in, Ghost flashes away. Beryl does have a flash of his own, but Kaiser will lock him in space. And that is a 2v2 for Mad in the bottom lane. Another one for Mad Lions bot lane. We talked about it in the draft. When Mads come out ahead, oh, it is when is they so are bad. shutting down Ghost and Beryl. The minion wave is in a horrible state for ghost as well and look at El Yoya hovering around like a shark looking for that play let's have a look at the all-in once again it is a bot gap even tanking all of these minions ghost is El on Yoya. the defensive ghost oh, it's El Yoya with the flash in Ude with the phoenix sends ghost back to the ashes and Khan and Canyon are looking for a fight in the top lane the Nar has been stolen away here by showmaker armor trying to build up the mega Canyon takes up a tower shot armored three quarters of the way to the mega he's Nar. almost Canyon level six overheated hits level six armor trying to get towards the mega but he's not into the wall and Damon Kia will get an answering kill Damon had to bite right then because two three minions and armored hit six armor can turn that around Damon with a critical response and well, this is exactly what you saw coming. Uh, Vettius right there. Ghost just tries to clear the minion wave, and El Yoya uses his flash to make sure he gets kill credit on that, regardless of the, suit, the execute attempt. Okay, Mad Lions come into game four and already are kind of continuing their way because this isn't a surprise at this point because this bot lane has done this every single game. I think the biggest surprise was Humanoid and El Goya punishing Showmaker in the mid matchup. But Darmwon, cross map, attack the top side. Gold still very even. Kaiser looking for another play. Bell puts on the attract repel. There's the Zenith Blade, but Ghost can just buffer the jump away from it. Important in those bot lane fights. If Bevel does not knock up Kazi, Mad Lion should win the fight. The cooldowns on Leona are so much shorter than those on Rel. You have so much more CC in that lane. And in the last fight, Barrel put everything onto Kaiser when Ghost was not in a position to be able to hit him freely. Now Canyon is level six, and I feel like you almost have to look towards this bot lane. Canyon, Showmaker, the rest of the team has to find a way to stabilize this. It has been a problem that has lost them two games already. And El Yoya isn't even focused on the bot side of the map. He is going to be taking away the wolves, and with Armit walking to the jungle, they could take the Gromp respawning, maybe the blue when it comes up too, and Showmaker can't even stick around for fear that Armit with Neganar ready to go wanted to just go for the dive anyways. Ooh, Showmaker's back also gets interrupted. This means that with the Herald spawning in 10 seconds time, you expect this to be the objective that Mad play for. The question you have to be careful of is can Khan move? Rumble on the way as well. They will spot this one out. So what's happening with the rest of the map? Neither bot lane is moving for the time being. Showmaker has no TP. Humanoid does have the push in mid though. Canyon's gonna get spotted out. Khan is in the 1v1. Armut just wants to push out top and then he can join the fray and they should have a numbers advantage. But Showmaker has now rejoined. But Armut Meganar just was lost. Humanoid still with huge push, but no mana to work with. Trading aggressively in mid, but Showmaker, he sees the low mana. He wants to go for a fight himself. Dives in, steals away the Chaos Storm, walks out of the gravity field. Armut coming in from the top side of the fight as well as Canyon and Khan trying to force him back. Dragon's Rage, Equalizer available. Oh! Flash. Oh, but the best stun will lock him in place just in time. Mad Lions fighting down towards the bottom side. Kazi has already used the Killer Instinct. Beryl's forced away. Humanoid coming in from the side as well as Beryl will eat the Death Ray. And that is another kill to Mad. It just keeps happening. This time, Humanoid gets brought in. Oh. Oh, to help on out. Oh, Elioi versus Ghost. I mean, Ghost is living up to his name because he's spending more time dead in the cemetery than anywhere else. The Flash, the Zenith Blade. Ghost is sent packing once again. Humanoid is forced to flash in the mid lane. The Showmaker's trying to get something back, but Darmwon's bot lane is collapsing. 
every single time we see someone die, it involves the bot lane of Darmwan. A humanoid for some Don't reason execute. aggroed the wolves, nearly killed himself. Now Mad looking for another play on a barrel. Oh, Bevel still has flash. Beryl can survive this. The solar flare flashed away from Zenith Blade. Going to chase him down. Kazi tanking up a tower shot. Beryl trying to walk away. Ghost is on his way as well. Does not have the buster shot. And Beryl will survive. Oh. The Kazi has flash. Play. Kazi does have flash. Can is going to chase Armut out of this top side crab fight. The Rift Herald has been used. There's the Nar. Armut forced away. We will still have the leap here and has a flash of his own, so can just walk away from this one. Can in with the equalizer. Armut has to flash first. Meanwhile, in the bottom side, Kaiser and Kazi are forcing back Beryl and Ghost. Elioyo's on his way down here, already level eight. Does have the flash, has the bear, has the slap, can look for Ghost, but Ghost can bother the jump away. Here's a TP, and that is a great knockup from Beryl. The attract repel will be enough to kill off Elioya. Kazi dies as well, and Showmaker with the TP turns up. Showmaker comes in huge with the teleport. It is exactly what Domwan needed. The bot lane was falling apart. And only Showmaker could come with the TP advantage to stabilize that Mad Lion's overreach, and he fights back. Oh, Humanoid, no flash. He's in danger. He puts down the gravity field, but Canyon will burn him down. Darmwon Kia have turned this game right back around and now have a 3,000 gold lead. They finally punished the aggression coming out from the Mad Lions, and that was just big disrespect from Mad. They weren't paying attention to the TP timers. They will also lose their mid-tier one, and Showmaker has now been unlocked on the map. Mad have lost 11 plates at the 11 minute mark and they have taken two. Darmwan have such control over these lanes, even though Mad were getting kill after kill after kill. Darmwan are so good about taking every opportunity to earn themselves gold and get towards those major items. I mean, Showmaker's been able to hold his own, keep the CS even in mid con with aggressive trading, starting to make that top lane quite an advantage for him. It's a very different story to the last game when he got absolutely picked on by the rest of the Mad Lions, and now he's got his teleport ready to go. Darmwan, by playing strong solo laners, can now try to use things like TPs, like pressure and whatnot, to move around and stop oh, allowing... Oh, here we go. Humanoid kick back. Solar Flare comes out from Showmaker and locks Humanoid in place. Darmwan picking up another kill in the mid lane. And this is thanks to the priority that they have in the top side. Mad was investing a huge amount of resources in the bot side of the map, while Canyon was trying to unlock Khan. And when you give this man a little bit more agency, he is very proactive with how he uses it. Good pick onto Humanoid. will finally get Darmwan into the kill lead, and they'll extend their gold lead to about 4.5k. And while Darmwan's top side has been performing so well, it's a 400 gold lead for Ghost over Karzi, even though you'd say the 2v2 has definitely been going the way of the Mad Lion. So Dalmon with a convincing lead already in this one. The fights look stronger for them. Showmaker has more individual agency to be the team fight carry for this Darmwon team later we go. And it's why you can never count out Darmwon. It's the why they are the world champions, why they won the LCK this year, is even when they fall behind in the early game, they are so good at taking every single advantage they can on the map. And when one of them gets, uh, gets ahead, when one of them gets three kills in the early game, they continue to force onto you. Kazi down, Ghost takes him out as Canyon joins the and tries to burn Kaiser underneath the tower. Will be locked up with the solar flare. Manages to flash away from it. Ghost now tanking up the tower. Kaiser misses the Zenith Blade. And that is a double kill for Ghost, who almost falls in at the end. You can see how much more early game impact Canyon is able to have. Mad Lions, they just overstepped one too much in the early game, while Canyon was focusing on the objectives. He got himself the early Drake. He got himself the early Herald. He unlocked Showmaker in the mid lane. He helped Snowball top. And this is why he is considered a world-class jungler, if not the best jungler in the world. While Mad was playing for kills, Cannon was playing for the map. And Mad Lions, well, Darmwan now 6,000 gold ahead in such a strong position. And if I hadn't been bitten a little bit by saying Darmwan should win the game in the last game, I would say this game is as good as done. It is over. You have to feel 5,500 gold their lead with a fed showmaker, with a fed canyon, with a fed ghost. It is so difficult to be able to do anything against Darmon. Yoya will try and find Canyon. Humanoid there as well, but Showmaker has the flank, and here comes Bell. Humanoid has to flash away. Zenith Blade from Kaiser will knock Showmaker back across the wall, but he can just jump back in, and Humanoid is sacrificed. TP came out from Khan as Darmon are looking to continue the chase. Khan is on a ward can jump forward. Kazi trying to dodge to the side as much as he can. Ghost has the flash, has the jump, has the attract repel. Wants Kaiser. And Kaiser is kicked back. And you may be the kings of Europe, but right now, Damwon are showing you 
just how good the kings of the world can play. Yeah, Damwon not even going to overreach right there. Khan had his eyes on Karzi for a moment, but realized it could have been turned around on him. He was a little bit further away from his team. So he spots out Kaiser and gets that kill. Very big for Damwon. Haven't been super... Uh, fast in taking these early drakes. We haven't even seen Mad do that when they're out to an early lead. It's been all about finding these advantageous fights. And well, Mad Lions haven't found many of those recently. I think one of the biggest differences between Mad and Damwon is when Mad were getting kill leads, when when they found advantages versus Damwon, they had slight gold leads. Whereas Damwon, when they get these leads, they just absolutely yeah. suffocate you. And this was Mad trying to be proactive on the map, but immediately Damwon answered. They have the pushing wave top. They have the push in mid. They have the TP flank and bot. Everything is just in the right place at the right time. You can see on your pip that they're looking for more kills on the Humanoid. Humanoid will be able to get the lockup onto Khan, but the chase is on with the Sonic Wave. Humanoid has been targeted, has been soloed out. That is his fourth death of the game, and Damwon are unrelenting. They will take the Rift Herald as well at the 15-minute mark. They have a 7,000 gold lead, and they are very... Oh, it's happening well again. truly in control of this game. The Everfrost comes out. Kazi, I'm sorry, mate, but there's nothing you can do. The show makers looking to stop this show as Kazi will die to his own killer instinct. Damwon here, 12-6 up. Beautiful stuff from Damon, in all honesty. And, well, this is how the Mad Lions are trying to come back. It's like spread out all through lanes, farm it up. Well, when Showmaker can be on a champion like this, Silas Khan on the lease, and it is such a difference. Mad Lions three members towards the top side of the map, but it's hard to actually lock down this lease in. Still has a flash even after the kick. There's the solar flare, and Khan just sidesteps it. TP coming in behind as Canyon comes in with the equalizer. And Mad Lions, you've been in this position before. You overstep, and Showmaker strikes. A double for Canyon, Elioya running away while Ghost and Beryl push in mid lane. Damwon have control of the entire map. You can see that Mad is trying to be proactive, but every single play they make is immediately punished by Damwon. Showmaker, we talked about him as a player and how he's performed this series. His TP bot is really what swung the game so heavily in the control of Damwon Kia. Beautiful performance from him and Canyon as well. You can see that this Damwon is much more online than they have been in this series. The whole time Mad sending three members towards the top side. Well, that lets Damwon keep pushing down mid. And you even oh. have Canyon with a bit of free time running up here towards the top side of the map. So the equalizer locks them all down. The TP makes sure there is absolutely nowhere to go. Darwin showing the wealth of experience they have, showing why you can never doubt them in a series like this. Mad Lions, 8,000 gold behind now. Darwin here in total control. They can get this next Dragon Inferno. has been started up by Canyon himself. Very much looks like we are going all the way. Showmaker has picked himself up a death note, and he has written 18 names in it so far. That's not how it works. It's it's four for every one. Okay. So how how do you get 18 if it's four for every one? Well, because when he had a dark seal, it was like two for every one or something ah, like okay, that. that so sense. I'm not gonna you, do that. You could have let me have my anime reference <laughs> if you decide against it. <laughs> also, you, if you don't write it into the Mejais and then they die, you kill them and then you okay, get it written. Okay. It's a little bit backwards. I'm sorry, it doesn't hold up. Showmaker diving in once again, looking to write another name <laughs> in his death note as Kazi's forced to wave if they'll charges in the bottom lane. And we have a little bit of fun because this game is all done but the singing. Damwon continue to pressure in. Mad Lions looking for picks, looking for whatever they can find. The smite goes down onto Canyon, but Ghost just eats Elioya alive. Whoa. In goes Khan, the kick through, armor forced away. Kaiser has to flash as well, but the equalizer will lock them all up. The solar flare is used. Damwon pick up one as Kaiser is sacrificed so that the rest of Mad Lions can survive. Complete obliteration from Damwon. They're looking for a little bit more. Oh, it's not over yet. yet. Oh, <laughs> oh shut it down. And that ultimate from Canyon, it didn't get a lot of kills, but that was one of the nastiest things I've ever seen. Just locks out any possible option to retreat. Arma trying to get back on the map, trying to fight for something. But Damwon are still here, Medic. Here comes Showmaker. Arma goes into the Mega Elioya. Pretty healthy, of course. His Kazi as well doesn't have the killer instinct. Showmaker and Canyon can just kite this one back. Everfrost on such a short cooldown, it can basically be spammed in situations like this as Damwon able to walk themselves out. Guys, it is 19 minutes in and Damwon have a 10,000 gold lead. Yeah, this is kind of what 
many expected to happen in this series. Yep. We saw it very similarly in game one, and it just goes to show when Darmon get an early game lead, they are relentless with it. But also, it's the nature of Mad's playstyle. They are very scrappy. They will fight you. They will look for more plays to try and claw their way back into the game. And as we'll see in this new The Axe Effect replay, it's uh, it's not quite going to work out for them. The damage from Darmon is so oh, strong. Is... Khan goes for a cool kick does get the knock up onto Kaiser. Look at the equalizer. Oh, it just cuts off any way to escape. And Karzi, well, there's nowhere to go for you either, buddy. He goes invisible for a second, but Ghost will just auto him to death. Showmaker's now dominating. I believe he has fully stacked his Medjai's. He has 25 pages in that book. Humanoid dodges to the side. Showmaker dodges out of the gravity field, does get stunned in the end, but that ignite is going to tick. And Ghost will secure the final kill. Baron up. For the first not time yet. this in game, five seconds. in five seconds, and Dalmon are waiting, ready for it. And uh, even if Elioya manages to steal this, I do not think Mad Lions really have a chance to win out this game. He won't even get close, Dalmon will get it. Question mark pings coming out for Mad, and they're like, yeah, they could be doing it, but we're not able to contest. There's nothing you can really do. Mad Lions at this point probably trying to figure out what they need to do going into game five to walk away with the win because this is a statement win from Dom One. This day has looked very sloppy for them, certainly, especially around the bottom side of the map, but being able to recover even after losing the early two, 2v2 down bot side and Showmaker Canyon Con all stepping up massively, blowing Mad Lions out of the water. That's the confidence you need heading into a decisive match. Whew, what a performance from Darmon. Just as doubts start to creep in, question marks, is this team just not that good? Well, turns out, yeah, oh. they're... <laughs> no, they're quite good. Yeah, 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 they're pretty good. Yeah, they're a pretty good team. <laughs> Mad Lions unable to do anything about the fact that all of Darmon are just diving onto their base. First inhibitor will fall 21 minutes in, and in this Red Bull Baron power play, you have to feel the only objective Darmwon Kia are looking for is that 50 gold from the Nexus. And we'll try to even out this series at 2 and 2 and take us all the way to game 5. Oh, Khan! Oh, wow! Styling on El Yoya. The chase is on with the Abscondib ducked, and Armored is forced back to the fountain. A 21 and a half minute win from Darmwon Kia as they gain all of the momentum going into game five. They will kite back. They will make Mad Lions days even worse as Ghost does fall in the end. I, I think Darmon could just end, end their suffering. Maker goes in. Darmon here will kill off Humanoid once again. The Equalizer goes out. Kaiser forced into a very difficult situation. I don't blame Darmon for styling because what sort of message do you send by forcing Mad Lions to respawn and die and die oh again? Oh my god! You demoralize them and that is exactly what this game from Darmon will have done. Even the Baron buff isn't enough to buff up the minions. <laughs> Please just end it, Darmon. This is the G2 treatment. <laughs> I knew this Darmon was for fans, like, but that lines have felt this before. Right there. Whew, Impressive Ouch. performance.